Congratulations, world champion. Uh, you said before the race you had a plan, and uh, if it works, it would be successful. It would be a good result. How difficult was it to to stay to that plan? Uh, I mean, if you have a plan, then it's uh, like what you think is the best option to to win. But dynamics always change, and today. I was not lucky, but I was yeah, fortunate to be with the front pack, so I didn't have to change in the bike. So, uh, like the plan was not that hard to follow because everything went quite well from the start. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't too much of a challenge to follow the plan, and uh, I'm happy I managed to execute. Was it was it hard to stay patient for the right moment for your attack? Yeah, I felt like I was running quite hard actually because uh, yeah, the other the only thing that changed for the plan was that Sam. Uh, Lalo actually didn't blow up in a way that I kind of expected him to do. So uh, to uh, go actually fast to catch another guy was not what I thought, but it was the right motivation for me. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we had to go quite fast already at the start because six minutes is a lot even uh, at a marathon. So, uh, but I'm happy I managed to wait till after Energy Lab and just match it from there because yeah, I won. Yeah. And, and you had also uh, Christian by your side. What, what are you thinking when you're running shoulder to shoulder? Yeah, I thought that he was doing more like mind tricks because uh, yeah, usually he's yeah so strong in the run and he can do some, I don't know, I wouldn't say weird, but he can do some different things to try to, to psych me out. And uh, if that was his work today, I was definitely feeling it because uh, I didn't quite understand what he was doing. And it's kind of... Yeah, you don't speak that much during a race, so uh, I was wondering what what I should do a bit, but uh, just sticking to my plan and then attacking out of energy lab was definitely the right move. You smashed the run course record, you, you smashed the overall record. Um, were you expecting that it would be so fast today? Yeah, we were doing quite heavy weather analysis, analysis, so we knew the bike would definitely be fast. And I have been developing a new shoe together with On, so I knew that uh, my shoes would be fast. So, yeah, we thought 7.45 to 7.40 would be possible. Uh, and, yeah, seems like we made the right uh, calculations. We have to talk about your lucky hat. Is, is it that, that easy, wear it and win it? I saw actually a lot of guys uh, out there uh, today wearing it, and I don't think everyone won. So... Uh, Yeah, you kind of have to, to use it in the right way. And you have to uh, have the original, I think. <laughs> no, I'm actually the original original that I used in Nice in 2019 was uh, yeah, taken by someone. I don't know who, so it's not the original, but it's uh, slightly different than all the others. So it must be something else. Um, do we really have to wait for you to compete here again after you won the uh, Olympic gold medal? Uh, I mean, if I never win it, I guess I still will come back here. But uh, yeah, you need to keep your priorities straight. And uh, now it's kind of worked out doing more than one distance for this year. But uh, to compete at the Olympic level, to take the gold in Paris, you need to do everything right. And I don't think I have that huge of a talent that I can both, yeah focus on full distance and short distance and uh, come away with both so uh, yeah I think it's going to be some time to, until I come back we will wait thank you thank you